Hello and welcome <laughs> to Europa Universalis for Irish Boys Let's Play series on the Dharma expansion. We are exactly where we left the last episode. We are in the midway point of war with England. It's going quite well. So we're just going to continue on. Our war exhaustion is actually getting a little bit high. So we're just going to pay that down a smidge and we're going to continue on hopefully to success and glory um, I've been having a look at what I think Kildare is going to want from this war and I think they're going to want Pale or maybe they won't want Pale let's find out So, Kildare actually have no desire for Pale, which is interesting. Uh, Scotland have claims on these two provinces up here, so I think we might get some peace deal once this fort falls. Uh, and to that end, I'm actually going to break off. So they haven't got a siege general over here. There's, there's zero siege pips in this stack. Uh, so despite the fact that it will cost me some attrition to go over and help. I'm going to have to do that. So we'll put our leader in charge to assist with trying to speed up the siege. England are in the process of landing a, a six stack in Ireland. I don't want to leave the main body of the army for obvious reasons. Uh, although England are now going to siege down the war goal, which isn't ideal. So we got a war breach on Northumberland's fort. There's, there's no way that we can leave this area. Not sure what to do here because I've got a feeling that England are going to come for me in uh, the hills, and I don't want to lose this fort war score, this fort siege score. So I'm going to move my seven stack over to Northumberland and take the attrition. Scotland are now moving off their army, so we're really close to getting this to fall, and Scotland move. 15k at the worst possible time I tell you if if England break the siege and um, Kildare and I lose our army I tell you okay we got Northumberland Let's GTFO. So the plus side now is at least we get the terrain penalty in our favor when England undoubtedly tried to move back to retake the fort. So we're going to make sure we've got the right general in charge. And guys, where are you going? Come on, man. Okay, Scotland at last has got the right idea. That's got to be close to a stack wipe. Not close enough. Not close enough. So let's go ahead and... Well, we'll take Scarborough. Just got to stick close with uh, the forward armies now. But these guys are like on a rampage. <laughs> I'm just a little bit... I keep saying I'm a little bit worried. I'm a little bit worried. But it's true. We get there on the 26th. We'd get there on the 22nd. There's going to be a battle in Cumbria. 3rd of November. England attack. Scotland have got to hold out for a little bit. 
And yet again we move in to save Scotland from their embarrassment. Shitland, as I'm coming to call them. Let's just aimlessly run around English territory because we're like, we've got such a hard on for being here in the first place. Alright, let's take York. York's worth a fair bit, right? Uh, border friction. Uh, 5 prestige, 25 dip. Or negative 50 of Kildare's opinion. I don't want to jeopardize the alliance with Kildare just yet, so it's going to have to be prestige. And we're going to sacrifice our claim on Lachen. Which I'm okay with. Lahin's pretty garbage province anyway, in the context of this game. We're going to recall our Scottish diplomat. That reminds me. Can we royal marry someone while we're at war? Yes, we can. So we've got a royal marriage with Scotland, uh, with Castile. And unfortunately, we're still a ways off an alliance with them which is a little bit surprising like their opinion of me is 155 I mean what does it take to swing their attitude towards me from neutral to friendly I mean what's a guy got to do and we've got York so this this war is all but over now, it's just a matter of how painful England want to make it. Or how stupid Shitland will get. Lose one stability. Lose one stability? Oh, wow. I mean, at least we can lose one stability with a technology cost of minus 5%, I guess. It's still very much bullshit, though. So we still haven't taken admin tech level 4. And I'm at minus 1 stability. That's pretty disgusting. Not gonna lie. Gonna pay down war exhaustion again. Going siege down Derby. Oh shit. England have caught me slightly unaware of that. And Shitland are gonna come to the rescue. Oh the irony. I don't... I can't double call those provinces yet. So it looks like uh, England is just trying to murk the fuck up. Refusing to accept their defeat. And that's why they've managed to cobble together another 17 stack. Uh, I want to try and avoid that if possible. Uh, Kildare, you need to make this peace deal. Like, right the fuck now. Another victory. We're doing well. I 
I just kind of feel like we're being a little bit too greedy here. Well, Kildare is being a little bit too greedy. I can't even send my army home because there's fucking eight stack of Ulster Separatists waiting for me at the other side of the crossing. Kildare look like they're about to get caught in farmland territory, which isn't ideal. And I don't think they're going to hold out for when we get there. But we should be able to polish off the remaining English army. And that's a stack wipe. Ooh, fucking raw. When are you going to make this peace deal? When are you going to make this goddamn peace deal? I don't know what more I can do. Come on guys, for fuck's sakes. You got 71% war score against England and you're a fucking two province minor nation. Who doesn't want any of their land? Right, I'm, I'm done fighting. Um, What's my war score against England? Minus two? Fuck you. Seriously, fuck you. Minus two. That's a fucking good one. Alright, I've got rebellion problems coming up. Kill that. You need to sort the shit out. kind of feel like that they're going to keep fighting until we lose our army. Like, we're just going around in circles right now. I'm not fighting that eight stack. Okay, fucking hell. That took forever and a day. So, we gained 18 favours with Kildare. However, this peace deal... Right, Kildare, as the war leader, has taken nothing. When there was a province right next to them. And they've given... Pale and Northumberland to Scotland. All that for that. England will cede Northumberland and Pale to Scotland. England and its subjects will give up all claims in, Kinda in Kildare. England will be forced to give Kildare 10% of their income. More operations for the last 10 years. England will pay 670 ducats to Kildare and its allies. Desmond will get 139 of this amount. And we get 1.39 inflation, the peace deal, blah, 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 blah. So basically, fuck all. We got next to fuck all. Well, we got fuck all. I mean, we knew we were going to get fuck all. Question is, right, if I have military access to Scotland, I need to cancel it. I don't. Let's get the army home. I need to be at war again pretty soon. Even though shit's going wrong. So 
So we're going to black flag ourselves back into our territory. We should avoid this. Rebel army, we do. Brilliant. Okay, we're home. That was uh, a long ass war for two mediocre at best provinces. Okay, um, what's next? So I was going to fuck Tyrone by declaring on Munster. I've got no manpower. Scotland will ally me. Which is probably a good idea. Despite the fact that they're a pain in the fucking arse. Oh, now they won't accept an alliance. Scotland have too many diplomatic relations. Oh, that's kind of bullshit. That's kind of bullshit. That's a lot of fucking bullshit because you just know that they're going to fucking rival me now. Alright, Castile. How about it? You're not interested either. I still have no friends. Good job England declared that war on uh, Kildare and not me. Otherwise I'd be fucked. Right, we're going to rival Tyrone. And we're going to rival Munster. And that's it for the time being. Looming disaster is the Peasants' War. Stability is less than one. And we've got rebels imminently due in the province that we're in, an eight stack. We are under our force limit, but I'm not gonna hire some troops because for obvious reasons the peasants war would fuck us. 1470, so we've got 13 years of truce against England. Of course, Bollocks, we fucking rival Tyrone. If we did Royal Married Scotland, oh, they wouldn't have accepted it anyway. I need to kill Tyrone because it's going to encourage Scotland to rival me if uh, Tyrone continue to live for too long. Just see off this rebellion if it ever spawns. Noble family feuds. Yeah, that's exactly what I want. Um, we shall pay the dip. Fucked if I'm giving them autonomy. We've got to speed five, we're literally waiting for a rebellion. Air falls ill. Our air is a 232 pretty garbage shitball. Trade efficiency minus 10%. I hope he dies. I'm so gutted. Personal union. Succession war between Castile and Munster on the death of my ruler. That's funny.
Castile is now considered a great power. So this rebellion doesn't want to spawn with my army where it is. Army tradition isn't great. We're behind on military attack. It's um, a pretty substantial level of military attack. So I'm going to have to go with our ancient leader. It's our general. It's not such a good idea to be honest, but fuck it, we're gonna do it. Such pussies wouldn't spawn with the army there. We lost 3,000 troops. Rip manpower. So now there's another fucking rebellion due in Ormond. Let's go sit on that, we might be able to... So we're just kind of fighting fires at the moment now. I'm not really getting able to do what I want to do. Which is a shame. Admin Tech 4. Jesus, that took forever. Now we're going to take Dip Tech 5. Times of need. Um, manpower. Prestige. Military points. So what do we need most of all right now? I think it's admin. I mean... Manpower would also be pretty epic. Uh, yeah, we'll accept the royal marriage, marriage from those people. We get 25 administrative from Kildare. And we have a reform, so this is one of the features of the, the new Dharma expansion pack. So you have tiers of government. Uh, you start off with uh, tier one and you've already pre-selected one of these two options. You can change this option, so right now we have uh, enabled Feudal Nobility, this is what we started the game with, um, which gives us an income from vassals plus 25%, and a state effect of Nobility Influence plus 5%. We could switch that to Autocracy, auto, Autocracy, 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 back in hell, <laughs> which is Unjustified Demands minus 10%. However, in order to make that change, we would have to gain 10 corruption. So there's that. So right now we've unlocked tier two, um, which is national tax modifier plus 10% and nobility influence minus 10% or national manpower modifier plus 15%. I'm going to be a greedy bastard and take the national tax modifier right yeah yeah okay so that's that I don't mind that change that change is okay it uh, doesn't nearly make up for the nerf to the religion stuff in my opinion I'm trying not to be too negative about that but to uh, Pretty much the only reason I actually bought Dharma was because I wanted to do a YouTube series. I lose 10 legitimacy, lose 10 papal influence, a noble of the Fitzgerald family, 454, with an average claim becomes a Fuck yes. Wasn't that general we had, the awesome slayer of the English, wasn't he Fitzgerald? I'd love to think that was that general's daughter, that'd be awesome. Uh, forward to glory, absolutely. Last jousting tournament, you have to take that. If you see it, if you get it, you've got to take it. Especially if you're uh, in a little bit of a pinch like we kind of are. Gain 25 support for Renaissance. 
Absolutely. How are we doing for Renaissance? Well. I mean, that was a crock of shit. So we've got 25% support for Renaissance. Uh, but it's not growing. What do I have to do? Why, why isn't it, if it's in my provinces, why isn't it growing? Uh, alliance offer, yep, we'll accept. We're only doing this because they're uh, allied to Scotland. And now the next set of rebels are due in Clanrasad or Connacht. So we'll send the army over there. We're still uh, zero manpower. That's, uh, that's got me confused. I mean, I, I thought once you had Renaissance or any institution in a province, have I not got feudalism? I've got feudalism. Why won't you spread? That is really gay. That's kind of gay. That's kind of gay. Not gonna lie. Uh, Castile. Break royal ties. Fuck no. Come on, man. Come on, man. Twenty-one. Still fucking neutral attitude towards me. The uh, the problem is, is they haven't rivaled England, and. It's going to have to be someone that's rival to England. So that's France, Burgundy or Aragon. Aragon's kind of a mute point because at some point they're going to be in the uh, Iberian wedding with Castile. Uh, Burgundy. How are they doing? Barbrant and Flanders. So they've been stripped of Holland, presumably by France. And they also have Nevers. But I don't think Burgundy look like they're doing particularly well. If we just take a look on the... The army page. Look for Burgundy. And they are way down here. 11,000 with a force limit of 22. So I think they must have recently just finished a war or something. And they would actually go into an alliance with me. The problem is, is that rival to France, um, I have fucked if I'm getting called into a defensive war with France, against France. France very much desires pretty much everything that Burgundy has. So I'm not going to do anything with Burgundy. So we're going to re recall the Castilian diplomat. And we're just going to see how things go with France. We still need a friend. I know we just beat the piss out of England. Um, but I, I don't trust the method. <laughs> which we had to use to do it again. So what else is going on in the world right now while we wait for this rebellion to spawn? Pretty standard so far, I think. France haven't really capitalized on too much other than retaking 
English land. England have declared war on Tyrone. Fuck. And this is what I mean. That's not good. Do you want that alliance yet? Oh, they've uh, changed to friendly. Yeah, let's do it. At least we can see how badly they're going to get fucked. Right, so England's army has... They've recovered 10,000 manpower and they've got 15,000 troops. Can we intervene in this war? Not that I particularly want to. Where is it? Diplomatic. No, no it does. Enforce peace. Not enforce peace on a country you have the truce with. Well, that's that idea fucked. Scotland's just like, oh my god, we can get into English territory, let's just go crazy. A grand ball in Cork, arrange a ball, gain 10 prestige, lose 3 ducats. Yeah, we can do that. I think, um, I think we can hire an advisor for a little bit here let's try and get an administrative advisor we've got national tax modifier so we'll go for him and he'll pay for himself and then I'll take the military one as well morale of armies, ka -ching. Is this ever going to spawn? No, it's not. Of course, it will spawn as soon as I leave the province to do something. Uh, Pope is now the papal controller. Austria has enacted a imperial reform in the HRE. So, we can get a military advisor level 2 for half the price. Or we can take 50 military points. I mean, we're losing money now. And that isn't actually going to be as cheap as hiring level 1 guys, so... Unfortunately, I think we're going to have to... So it's actually double the cost of the one we're paying for now. So we can't afford to do this for too long, but we need to try and catch up and tack a little bit. When is this fucking rebellion going to spawn? Jesus. Kildare, your faithful ally, is requesting that you come to their aid in the conquest of something against Tyrone. Tyrone is allied with Scotland. Did you really fuck your alliance with Scotland? Are you that stupid? 
No, you didn't. I can only think that Scotland will defend this call. No, they won't because they're actually minus 27 war score. So. What are they offering us? Wait, if I decline, I lose, but this is an aggressive fucking... Oh, it's bullshit. Well, I'm not losing all of those points. <clears throat> okay, right. Let's go and jump on their capital. Do they want this province? They do. Yeah. Of course. Of fucking course. So. This is kind of bullshit. I'm, I'm being so fucking abused right now. No, I don't want to say it as a vital interest. I want to see what they want. Thank you. I should have just done that war with uh, Monster and Tyrone and fucking dealt with the rebels as I went along. Because this is bullshit. This is some bullshit. Can I separate peace, Tyrone? I could. I'm about to take their capital. What are you going to do with that? They didn't even give me the fucking province. Those. Assholes. So now I've got a truce, which doesn't actually matter too much. It's going to take care of these rebels. Eh, uh, fucking hell. 15% autonomy in Ormond. Lose 25 admin or lose 50 admin. Well, we're definitely not losing 50 admin. Uh, we'll have to do the autonomy. And we've capped out relations with France. France, I love you. Please be my friend. Dynastic actions. They won't even fucking marry me. Won't even marry me. Not even interested. I'm a person. Okay? So Castile are the closest to ally me, but they're pretty much maxed out. So Liège, Trier, Brittany look like they're a Gettable ally, are they going to be any use? Galray and Utrecht. 
Independence guaranteed by England. Doesn't actually look like Scotland are being beaten by England. The Peasants' War is uh, about to pretty close to spawning. Stability less than one, so I have to raise stability twice. So that was expensive. Losing three and a half ducats a month. That will be the case while we're reinforcing this army. Right, can anyone fucking declare war on these guys? Try Reconnell. Do you know, I would be really unsurprised if Tri Reconnell declared war on Tyrone right now. I just want that province. I need that province. So, uh, Munster aren't allied anymore, but uh, oh, we can't declare war because, oh, Jesus. Okay, that's <laughs> not good. This is not good. Holy shit, this episode's huge. Okay, guys. <laughs> We're going to have to wrap this one up. I'm really sorry this overran. Um, I need to try and get into the habit of sticking to much shorter episodes than what this one's turned out to be. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it anyway. And uh, please don't get, forget to give the content a thumbs up. Uh, things look like they're going okay. There are niggling things that are annoying me, but uh, there are in any campaign, as I'm sure you all know. Right, guys, take care. I will catch you in the next one.